Hello from Bratislava. It's the final day of the sixth polyglot gathering. The first talk that tickles my fancy this morning is how to motivate yourself to learn more languages. Implement something new, right? So it's really needed to ask yourself when was the last time I tried something new in my language learning? Is motivation a problem for you when you're learning languages? It is sometimes, it depends on the languages. You really have to know what you want. The neuroscience of language, how the brain enables us to speak. The broadcast area, generally speaking, that you can see, is um, important for selecting the phonemes, later putting them together into words. We can see word right here and they'll save your name. Este año puedo presentar sobre mi cultura mexicana y también practicar mis lenguajes slávicos como eslovaco y checo. Voilà, aujourd'hui c'est le dernier jour de gathering. Est-ce que tu te sens triste? Oui, oui, parce que j'aime vraiment beaucoup cet événement et c'est vrai que ça va me manquer. Mais il y a la conférence dans pas longtemps, donc on se verra à Fukuoka. <rire> Now the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to get physical with Anya. Yeah, I consider myself as a uh, creator and very much into a general creative language learning. <laughs> so perfect. I definitely think that physical activity and language learning go together. Healthy mind, healthy body. I suppose it was only a matter of time before this dish was served up. Judith's going to tell us how to learn to read and write Greek with a few hacks. Um, of course, uh, copying it out can be helpful, um, especially if you normally type on a computer. Obviously, you want a, uh, a keyboard layout, but uh, you should be able to write things also uh, by hand. So. <laughs> The Dane does summer. Hey. Yes, I was Christmas day. There was a lot of I was surprised how many people here speak some level of Japanese. Is the life after language studies? Ed's going to tell us. So I found struggling to get a job straight out of uni, um, just purely because the only thing I could offer was languages. I found that if you have some other skill and can mix it with languages, that is absolutely a huge power. The official part of proceedings today is the closing ceremony. The hall is filling now and everyone is wondering where will the polyglot gathering take place next year?
did you enjoy more not being an organizer? I loved it so much. I could actually talk to people. I could go to events, you know. I enjoyed it so much more. The guys did a great job, definitely. I'm up for Poland. Um, I've never learned Polish, so it's another challenge. Um, and it's a, it's a nearby country as well. Definitely up for it. I don't know, maybe. I really like Poland. I was there last fall. Great country. So, are you guys up for a trip to Poland? Yes, I think so. Ja, det har varit ett riktigt härligt gathering i år och alla som gillar språk borde testa komma hit. Det var en nyvärna podie. Jag prostu zahvati. Vsim rekommenduju. Yeah, yeah, a lot. It's like it's been an amazing experience. Are uh, really ma amazing people and uh, like just like the whole time was really, really important for me to you know brush up all my languages and uh, learn a lot about new ones. Kali ini pada pendapat saya bagus sekali dan tahun depan kita jumpa sekali lagi. Não é minha primeira vez, essa é minha segunda vez. Eu vim ano passado e eu adorei. Na real, é a mesma impressão que eu tive ano passado eu tenho esse ano e recomendo a todo mundo. I feel great. I mean, this has been a great uh, event, but I must say I lost my voice. I feel a little bit sick, but I'm so happy to see all the smiley faces at the end of the event and the fact that everyone is super excited about the next location. I'm super happy about that too. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the vibe, throw me a thumbs up, tickle that bell and share with your fan. And see you in Poland. I'm going to try and take TV, right? I don't know if that's just...